No, 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 not you, little scooper. You know, it's this thing. Yes, that's going to be. That is the bane of our existence right now because it's just exploding with white lace and little trims and mama needs to wrestle that puppy down. Not this puppy, that puppy. Yes, okay, so let's take it out. Uh, oh, okay, you're coming with me, bud. You got no choice. It's you or me. No, somebody's not coming out of here the way we came in. Okay, get that. Yeah. okay. whoops, sorry. I'm going to get that back in. Uh, okay, now we're in. Shrink you up a little bit. Let's see what we got going. Get the, get the bottom planted. Oh, there, much better. Okay, now, hey, welcome. This is Pam at the Paper Outpost, and this is Organizational Friday. Yay, yay. And uh, this is, um, I hope you're coming along with me, grabbing something to clean while we're, we're cleaning, um, getting our crafty organization in play for the new year, not wanting to bring in the mess of distress from the last year. We want to come in with cool, calm, collected organization. And while I probably won't be complete my craft room organization by the beginning of the year, I'll have made a good darn dent in it. That's right, and that counts, that counts. So if you're anywhere like me where you're just nibbling at it a little bit at a time, grab a pile, grab a drawer, grab a box, and let's get to it. All right, what do we got? <laughs> okay, this is a big mismush of, okay, you're not the right, you're not the right, uh, you've got beige in you, so you go over there. Um, you got, you're all beige, so you need to go over there. So this is, we're primarily working in a white trim, white lace drawer, and I think that I'm just going to have to, I, I just, why did I buy this? I had to have it. I, I think it's really pretty and I will put it to good use because this is going to be my year of using up what I have. And while I may still supplement occasionally because I can't seem to stop myself, um, I'm really, really, really going to focus on using up what I have because I will feel so darn good about that. Putting it back into the universe um, in a better state uh, for a better purpose than just being sitting here crunched up in my drawer. Um, so I'm now beginning to roll this giant, uh, let me lower my desk a little bit. There we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, I have one of those stand up desks, which I am now seated at. Um, but it's good to change position every once in a while while you're crafting or else you'll, you'll take on what I call, you know, like crafter neck, crafter back, crafter butt, you know, you name it, it's going to be, um, you're going to get stuck in a position and it's not good. You need to move every once in a while. So if you're, you're crafting a lot, like a lot of us do, I know, I see you out there, um, move, just get up and move or put a pile of books on your crafting desk and then craft up higher if you don't have an upsy downsy desk like this. Um, they also come in manual desks or um, um, just make one, you know what I mean? Like, or have to have a table that's low for sit sitting and then have another table that's higher. Um, like I said, you can, you can put boxes or shelves on top of it and create a higher area for you to work on it. It's just much easier on the, the old body parts. So that being said, I must be a little achy. <laughs> um, that being said, let's get wrapping. Okay. So we're collecting and we're going to, okay, these are two different pieces. So I know how long they are. That's why I'm keeping them separate and not rolling it all together in one giant ball. Okay. And I'm not going to pin it or tape it or do anything. Why? Why you ask? Hey, because I don't want anything to impede efficiency. I want to grab and go. I want this little tray to be singing the joy of, I've been crafting this one. My, my hands are, are, you know, inky. Great day to clean up the white drawer, Pam, with the with the brown hands. Um, but anyway, uh, I just want to grab and go. So I go in, I look, I see what I have, and I grab and I go. And uh, um, that's kind of what I want to model this year coming out of, uh, as we'll see, we'll see this year coming up anyway. Um, if we can get things so it's easy, grab and go. It may not be perfect and it may not be pretty, but as long as it's functional, hey, that's okay. Guess what? I've got more of this. It was in my lap. Okay, so this may require a second drawer because there's a lot in here and I don't know if I can get it all so that there's nothing piled on top of itself because you know how it goes. You know, you can hear it coming. Once you pile something on top of it, it's like the thing underneath doesn't exist. It's not there. It's just not there. Yep. Blind to the eyes. It's gone off to another netherworld somewhere. Uh, 
And uh, nope, we just can't have that. If we got stuff, we got to remember we have stuff and then we'll use it. So, oh, this is pretty. See, I forgot I had this. Um, and this can go forever. Oh, I remember when I found that I was like jumping glory days. It's just some lace, just, you know, but you can cut it apart and use it for so many things. Fabric curtains in your journal and things like that. Oh, they use, there's a funny word. They got flip ups. No, there's some funny word they use for those. Um, you know, the they, <laughs> those journal people. <laughs> um, uh, whoop, there's a safety pin. Let me get that over there. Okay, let me just fold this up and I'm, I'm corralling it. Come here. I'm going to corral you into a more manageable piece. Okay, there you go. We'll figure out. Pretty much everything has to come out before it goes back in. Oh, guess what? There's more of that. And it's very fluffy. And I have some, this is so pretty. This should probably go in the beige drawer, though. It's really beige. I think it was, I don't know. I think I coffee dyed it or tea dyed it. That's why it's got that beigey look. So it's sort of white, but oh my God, it's so pretty. I couldn't throw out that piece. You know how you get when you just, you can't throw out a piece and you just think, oh, but see, I forgot I had that. And that beautiful piece is going to get used this year in a journal because now I know I have it. <clears throat> and all I have to do is remember I have it. <laughs> so how am I going to do that? I'm going to do that by having a drawer that I can see into and see everything I have. That's how it's going to happen. Okay, so not everything here is technically white white. Some of it is cream or vanilla or off white. And, and that's okay. I think that, that can all be fine. Oh, look, this is so, look at that. Oh, that is so, oh, yum, 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 yum. I, I remember buying that at the thrift store. I was so excited. And uh, yeah, you're getting used in a journal because you're just so darn cute. Okay. Um, oh, here's some of this. I must have been cutting on it. Yep, see, I was cutting on it. <clears throat> and I made a, a thinner piece. Maybe I did a journal tie or one of those little curtain flip up things. I can't think of the word that, that we use for that. It's like a funny word that doesn't sound like it. A tip in? A tip in? Tip in. I think that's what it is. What a weird word for a curtain. <laughs> it's a curtain. It looks like a curtain to me. Um, <clears throat> a lace curtain. Okay. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, yeah. That's really pretty. I don't remember if I bought this or this was an AliExpress late one night last year before COVID purchase. Uh, could have been, could have been, but the pretty lace, just a pretty piece of lace. Okay, here we go. Wrapping it up. So how's your day going? Are you having a good day? Yeah. Is everybody behaving themselves over there? I hope so. I'm not giving you a hard time. No, no, they're uh, laying low. Yeah, they're all fed and they're asleep on the couch, are they? Okay, well, that's probably the best thing. Then you can get some serious crafting done. That's right. We just put them into a nice little carb coma and off they go. Um, I had a weekend of cleaning my garage. Yes. And it, I uh, talked about this on a podcast recently, but the long and the short of it is it was not the slow-mo method you see here. It was the, I have a day and a half to do this and the entire garage needs to be purged. Go. And, uh, me hubby and I just uh, agreed to be completely ruthless, roll up our sleeves, and just start vetoing things like, you're out of here, you're out of here. I am no longer going to almost break my neck falling over you because I'm done with you. And uh, so that's kind of what we did. And uh, we got rid of a massive amount of stuff, put it at the end of the driveway. Lots of people came by and had a great time getting stuff. And... Um, uh, saves me a trip down to the thrift store. Whoops, here's some tool that I'm unwinding. Let me put that back on the roll. Um, and uh, then I, I know people who are either going to use it or they're going to give it to somebody who they think can use it or they're going to resell it. That's fine. As long as it goes to a better purpose than sitting in my garage, it's all good. And um, um, whoop, whoop, little slippery devil getting away on me. I need to use the white tool more. I love white tool. I think it has such a, a pretty ethereal fairy style picture um uh yeah so yeah now i remember i have white tool yep it's more for just than weddings weddings you can't have all the white tool no no we can have it in like cloud formations in our journals we can uh, we can use it to tie journals up we can do all sorts of fun things with it oh we got more of this stuff or oh, this is a little different nope same darn stuff okay Wrapping, whoop, where are you going? Here, let me quickly check. There, I'm gonna see more. Okay, make sure you're at a good angle there. Um, 
So it's nighttime here. The sun is just setting. It was a strangely warm day today. We've had a lot of really cold days, but today was strangely warm. And I always laugh, you know, when you hear crafters starting to talk about the weather, it's like, I, I can't think of anything to talk about. So I'm going to talk about the weather. Um, so uh, I'm thinking, okay, I'm wrapping the 17th piece of this. Um, there we go. Well, it has to be done, right? It has to be done. Okay, and now it is done. Okay, there yeah, we've completed that. Sometimes the easiest way to approach these things is go for the biggest things first because then your pile depletes rather rapidly before your eyes. See, it really doesn't matter whether you go small to big, big to small, or just random. It's all the same, but psychologically, you might feel better about it if you see the big giant pile reduce quickly. So here's some trusty white cotton bed sheet. And I love this stuff because you can do a million and one things with it. Yes, yes. Uh, wrap your journals, trim your journal pages, um, uh, stamp on it and make beautiful, um, like put black or any color in, uh, stamps on it, like rubber stamps. And um, they're so cool. And then you just tear them apart or cut them apart and, and glue them in your journal. So pretty. And they have that real rustic handmade look. Uh, very cool. Make sure you launder them. Very, key, very important. And um, all right, what's the next big thing? The next big thing could be this. This is a lot Ah, this is some beautiful, oh, if you ever buy trim and stuff like that, look for it from the perspective of maybe I want a bunch of little flowers, but buying individual flowers might be really expensive. Well, it might be less expensive to buy um, like a yard or two of flower trim, and then you can cut the individual flowers apart. And I love doing that because it really makes what you bought go a long way and uh, you get good quality stuff, very pretty stuff. And um It'll, it'll just last you from here to kingdom come. Yeah, that's right. All right, wrap it around the rosy here. Um, oh, wrap, you know, ring around the rosy. There's some, like, oh, I was just thinking there's like some sad reference with that um, thing, but it has to do with some disease, like roseola, maybe? I can't remember, but there was some, like, I think it was a Victorian disease, possibly. Uh, some type of illness that came along and it, it, that was a reference to whatever that was. I'll have to look it up and, and or if you guys know about it, please feel free to share about it. But yeah, there was some reference to it. It's funny. I don't, you know, like I said, we don't have kids, but I, I'm always fascinated for, about the, uh, the reasons why words were chosen or things were done. Like I was having this goofy conversation with my husband this morning um, on our morning walk about when the bow breaks, the cradle will fall. So my question was, who put the baby in the tree? I mean, why was the baby in the tree in the first place? I, you know, it's a cradle, okay? Cradles rock, right? So you're putting this rocking thing with a baby uh, and not only in the tree, at the tree top, at the tree top, no less. So was that like to keep the baby off the ground so it didn't get damp or so that a wolf wouldn't come and um, steal it? I mean, I have to know. And if anybody knows, so rock a bye baby. Yeah. Yeah. When the tree in the tree top. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, when the wind blows, the cradle will rock. Okay. So if the wind blows and the cradle rocks, where's the mother? That's all I want to say is where is the mother and why did she put her baby in the top of the tree? It makes no sense to me. Um, and, but I'm sure there's like some logical, like old, fantastical reason why, oh yes, back then they put the babies in the tree because, you know, I don't know, the neighbor's dogs would come over and steal them otherwise, or the, the, ding, the dingo got it. Yeah, that's what it was. Uh, I think it's called a dingo, isn't it? A dingo. Um, <laughs> so, you know, this is, no, this I already folded. Why are you here? Why are you, how did you get in there? I must've put you there. You hopped back in. You can't come back in. Once you're out, you're out. Okay, there's no going back in until the big finale. All right, this is pretty, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that came off a shirt. And I just thought it was so pretty. I thought, well, I'm snagging that, yep. And uh, it got snagged and it's gonna be used for something amazing. I don't know what yet though, don't know, don't know, don't know. Can you see that? No, not really. How about there? Okay, you can see that. I'm gonna put like with like. So put a few of these here. And this little guy there, he's another one of those. So there's, this is a bulky thing. So there's a lot of it. I'm going to put it all together as different sizes. Here was the neck. And uh, there you go. All right. We're going to rehabilitate and resurrect you into a new life form. More tool. Look at that. Two tool. I didn't know I had two tool. Yeah. 
I was such a fool. I didn't know I had two tools. All right, we're getting silly now. Get back, get back with the program focus. All right, what else do you have a lot of? Seems like this. This seems to be a preponderance of something that's getting tied up onto itself. All right, extricate yourself from this madness. Do it. Okay, I'm going to wind now. I'm going to wind, 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 wind. So what are you, what are you organizing? It, let me guess. Let me guess. Um, kitchen drawer? Are you doing your laundry? Oh, you're not even paying attention. Hey, hey, you. <laughs> That's okay. I, I do that all the time, too. Um, uh, so, yeah, what's your project? Or wh what is the project that really needs to happen? Is it, is it your craft area? Is it your craft room? Is it your craft garage? <laughs> is it your, your atelier? Is it your little art studio that has become an art explosion of stuff that just ran away on you? You have no idea how it happened. There was a lot of reckless abandon and you know you had fun, so it was all good. But things do need to be handled at some point. So, um, so that you can just, you don't want to rebuy stuff. You know, I think that's pretty much in a nutshell. This is pretty. Look at that. Can you see that? Maybe I'm too, is it too, too far away? Okay, I'll get you a little closer here. Okay, um, some pretty lace. Yeah, see, I didn't even know I had that. See, I, I put stuck that in there. I need to put this all together. All right, here, here's one of these little leafy flower things. See, even these you can cut apart individually and use them as little accents. And um, But sometimes you got to rummage to see the, your own possibilities, like what you have. Oh, my goodness. Um, and... If you, if you can't afford a lot of laces and trims and things like that, look at your old clothing or thrift store clothing because you can get a lot off of old clothing. And also, if you're going for a color, try and get whites or creams because you can pretty much turn them into any color with food dye or watercolor or um, writ dye or beet juice. Um, you name it, you can... Uh, you can change the color with so many things with makeup and things like that if you put it in water and um, like certain things depends what it is of course um, but uh, that's um, a good place to start oh here's this big bolt of this and I love this and I don't know what it's called but it's very thin seam binding or something of some sort but this I use so much because it's so thin and I love it, love it, love it. And I never see this anywhere. I don't even know what to call it or where to look for it. But it's like a very thin lace or, or um, seam binding. Um, and I've, I, this thing was fat when I got it. And I've just been whittling on it and whittling on it. It's been awesome. It's been, it's been an old soul that's been traveling with me for the many, many uh, experiences through the junk journal world. This is pretty, isn't it? This is ribbon, like um, wreath ribbon or... Uh, you know, present ribbon, but it's so pretty. I just love it. And you can pull the wires out of it so it's, it won't stick anybody, which is kind of nice. Um, okay, you can make it into pockets and tucks, and there's so many possibilities. And what else do we have in here? What else? Oh, here's this little thing taking up a lot of room. Let's take you off of there. Okay, got two pins. Let's throw the pins out so they don't fall on the floor and Sunny gets them. And this is some old seam binding. I love seam binding because it's so thin. Perfect for journals. You can trim your pages, you can wrap your journals in it, you can uh, make uh, journal card toppers. I mean, just so many things. Okay, so we'll never get it as pretty as it was, but uh, you know, it's already got foldy creases in it, so we'll just work around that. And um, I don't really iron any of this stuff. I mean, I know some people do, they're very meticulous about the ironing, and I think that's awesome. And I, they just have a different look. Yes, that's what I tell myself. I have a, a more of a rustic, primitive, you know, weathered sort of um, that kind of look, which, you know, they're just ironing doesn't occur. No, it just doesn't. Um, have I ironed? Yeah, I've ironed, but then I've decided I just don't really like ironing. So I thought I'm not gonna spend the rest of my life ironing. Um, I don't even iron my uh, journal pages. I just stick them under a big weight of a couple. I put a giant, um, uh, after I, I, I dye them in that, when they're dry, I put a, um, a big wooden uh, chopper table, not a chopper table, uh, a cutting board, thank you. <laughs> And uh, I'll never get this all undone, so I'm just going to take the short method. Um, this, don't tell anybody I did this. Um, I kind of hatchet chop this one. It's another one of those really thin, I don't know, one of those really thin things. And, um, and I love it, and I had a bunch of it, and I'll probably never see it again, but it's so pretty. I just, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I take a uh, cutting board, 
And then I take two big cases of 24 case waters and I put it on top and flatten them out, like give it like overnight and then it's nice and flat and you don't have to do any of that ironing stuff. No, unless you like ironing. If you find ironing relaxing and some people do, they find it very um, meditative and Zen experiencing. Go for it. It's all yours. I'll bring my ironing over to your house. I don't think I even own ironing anymore. Have you noticed how many clothes don't require ironing anymore? And isn't it wonderful? I mean, I grew up in the day when you had to iron stuff and, you know, iron stuff went to, you know, Catholic school. We had to iron our uniforms and all that kind of thing. And it was a, it was a chore, you know, it was a chore. And, uh, uh, especially the shirt, the white shirt always was, you know, and I was an awful ironer, awful. I mean, I tried, I did, I really tried and it just never looked right. <laughs> I know, never came out like Sally Sue's who was sitting next to me and hers was perfectly crisp. No, mine never quite looked like that, but I had to do it myself. My mom wouldn't do it for me. She's like, you got to get over there and learn how to iron. I remember once when I was really small, I accidentally, not that small, I was probably about maybe 11, and I was ironing and I had that thing going through my head where they always say pick, you always hear your adults say, um, pick it up with two hands, two hands. So I grabbed the iron and then I grabbed the front of the iron and I burnt my hand so bad. And uh, let's just say I, I wasn't doing much ironing after that. But I remember my mom put um, mint toothpaste on my hand. You know, these crazy remedies we do. Uh, back in the old day or butter like that was going to help, you know, yeah, put some butter on it. Yeah, put some greasy oil on that blistery burn. That'll be great. Um, nope, didn't help. The peppermint stung. Don't do that. I mean, that, throw that one out the window. Um, I think the best thing to do is just run it under cool water and um, then just take care of the wound as the days go on. You know, you have to protect the skin and blah, 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 blah. But um yeah, so don't don't pick up your iron with two hands like I did. That was just not a wise day in the life of me. Um, but now I've got some, this I probably got on AliExpress. It's some kind of little rosette plastic thingies on a string, but they're pretty for little page trims or decorating the, the cover and uh, something like that. And oh my gosh, this is a long one, isn't it? Look how long you have, you have like bread in here or something. Holy mackerel. So... Must have gotten a lot of it for the 60 cents I spent on it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, come on out of there. Oh, I even see some over here. Is that all attached? Yes, it is. See, when you let things run away on you, look what happens. Then you end up with this nightmare. Oh, Lordy me. This is not good. No, we got to get through this somehow. That's right. So, okay, um, committing to eating healthier. I know, I know in the new year. Oh, I know every year, this time of year, this is going to be the year I eat healthy. Had a big salad today and I had some beets in it, some beet, uh, beets. So I used the beet juice and I colored some papers because, um, you know, everything's a craft supply until proven otherwise, right? And uh, so it's doing its nice job. So it actually absorbed all the water and the color that I put on it. So put it the whole, I put it in a deep tray about this deep, a big one, and put a little bit of extra water in it with the beet juice and um, got to a nice light pink color. And I kept turning the papers. It was a big stack of paper like this thick. And uh, mostly, um, well, it's some music paper and it is... Um, graph paper. I had a big pile of graph paper that I've been collecting and I thought, huh, you know, okay. Now these, these are the, the bed sheets that I have stamped with just, these are just rubber stamps, random rubber stamps. And I just sat there, tore some sheets and stamp, 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 stamp with whatever I had. So there'd be at the ready. And uh, there you go. Yeah. And I think I'm just going to collect all of these together because these are running away on me. I don't know what I have anymore. And I've been, I've been using them a lot. I have, I've been, I've been very happy about that. And, um, they've been very handy, um, just for that little extra something. Sometimes you just need a little extra something and this will cure all ills when you need that little extra something. And if you can't have cookies, then you got to have something, right? So you're going to need a pile of this to make it through the next year with the, the healthy diets we're all going to declare we're going to be on. Um, at least be kind to ourselves and our, our bodies. And look at all this rickrack. Oh my goodness. That's that we're not there yet though. Let's stay focused on this stuff. Pull all this out and you will make major headway, Missy. Yes, that's right. Here it comes. All this pre-stamped stuff. Yes. 
Hmm. Did you not use as much of it as you thought? I remember when I made this stuff, I made tons. I mean tons. And uh, I thought, whoa, yeah, this can be great. But you know what? It got buried in here and then I couldn't see that I had it. Uh, I know that I have it, but uh, I didn't know all the variety. And I have a lot of variety in here and I forgot about it. Look at that. Here's one with summer. What's this? Secret? Oh, see, how cool is that? C? The, the Grand C? Yes, that's a nice one. I need to do a water-based journal, like a um, either mermaid or ocean or something like that. Or maybe make a digi kit related to water. I think that might be a good theme. Um, ocean going, maybe vintage ocean, something like that. That would be cool. Ships, I don't know, just, I don't know, fishermen. I got, I got, you know, ideas rolling around in the head. Something about the weather, you know, the, um, what was that movie with the boat, the ship? No, oh, I can't remember the name of it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool, isn't it? Yep, that was a rubber stamp. Um, see, I would love to know I have that. Oh, don't know what that is. Um, what else is in here? Yeah, so maybe something ocean themed. Um, that would be nice. Yeah. All right. All right. In Florida, I probably should do something ocean-themed, right? But yeah, let's face it, we all have connection to the ocean somehow. Night. I wonder if I have day. I don't think I have day. I just have night. <laughs> well, that's, you get what you get at the thrift store of the rubber stamps, right? <laughs> okay. All right. Almost got all of these, I think. Boy, they keep coming, though, but this is really whittling down the pile. And I feel like things are happening. Oh, little puppy feet. Puppy feet. Oh, yeah, totally cool. Love that. That was pre-puppy, too. Yeah, when I did those. See, it was a premonition. Puppy coming. Puppy coming. Wow, I knew puppy was coming. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know, when you're a woman on a mission, yeah, you're going to make it happen. Yeah. And I remember when he was in the cooker, and then he was born, and then he was really small, and the lady called me up, and she goes, you know, I think he's going to be a lot smaller than we thought. Are you sure you still want him? And I had already fallen in love with his picture so much. I said, absolutely, you just send that puppy right on over, because uh, I'm, I'm totally in love with him, just from his pictures. And... Uh, did I tell you his legs grew? I was looking at some pictures of him when I first brought him home. He's five months now. And he had the shortest legs. He looked like a corgi, you know, like the queen's dog with the short legs. And I thought, oh my God. And he could walk under, we have like a low couch and a low coffee table. And he could just walk straight under them. Like he didn't even bend at all. And I thought, oh my God, I'm never going to get him out from under there if he goes under there. And uh, then all of a sudden he had this big growth spurt and his legs grew like crazy. So he's, he's a little longer now. Yeah, taller. And uh, he's completely flaked out right here. Because, I mean, I got him a new little bed, my little sunshine, a new little bed for Christmas. And he was so excited. He hopped right in it. It's funny how they know when something is for them. They just know. It's like, oh, yeah, for me. Well, of course, I, they probably assume everything is for them because if food hits the floor, it's for them. If uh, your, your slippers are on the floor, it's for them. And uh, um, your life will never be the same again because the... Um, the little pup is in the house. Yes. And uh, there we go. All right. We got a lot of that. You see any more? There's a little bit more bedding there. Let me see if I can get all this bedding. Oh, I even saved the tag. Look at that. Boy, boy, I must be a saver. I think I can let the tag go, don't you think? Yes, I can. I think I'm going to put maybe an elastic band or something around this. I know. Don't use a regular elastic band. Use the hair bands. I don't have one right now, but I will replace it with a real hair band. I promise. Um, Here's a great category for a label, other inks. <laughs> oh, I had lofty ideas of labeling everything, and I've changed my drawers so many times, the labels don't mean anything. Like, what is on the label is not what's in the drawer. Okay, so let's get these big laces out of here, these crocheted things I had to have thousands of because I love them, and I do love them. They're very useful. They're nice and thin as well for journal making, and you can sometimes find these in the dollar store, but you can also buy them online at Etsy or Amazon or eBay or any of those places. Walmart sells them. Um, not too hard to find out there. Uh, if you get the white or the cream, you can also dye them many pretty colors. So fun to use. So I think we're probably going to roll over into a second video or not. You never know with the darn phone anymore. I'm just saying, if I magically disappear, I really, I'm still here cleaning my drawer. And if, if you want to hang out and clean some more with me, there'll probably be a part two. And the link will be below this video and hopefully at the end of the video, if I remember to do that. And um, so I'd love for you to come on and hang out and I'll hang out with you while you clean. And um, if you would hang out with me while I clean and, you know, 
Time will go fast. We'll get through it all. We'll be so organized. We'll know exactly what we have. We won't be rebuying things. Life will be good. Look at the size of this rickrack. Is that not the biggest rickrack you've ever seen? Okay, well, we're just going to use that up this year. That's right, Mr. Rickrack. Rickrack of all rickrack, we are going to use you. Mm hmm. There we go. That was a very good pile. All right, just go over there. We'll figure you out when we tuck you back in. Here's more rickrack of a different size. Oh my goodness. Okay, not too long. I can I can handle this one. Yeah, I found with the other drawer that I organized with the little bits of lace and trim that it really wasn't necessary to have them fastened. They were all nestled together. And then what I'm trying to do is use the little bit littlest bits first. So I get rid of all those fast and then I can go on to whittle down the bigger ones. And then I know exactly what I need and how much I need. So that's that's my theory. And it, it never goes as planned. Never, never, never. But um, we can pretend. <laughs> okay, you are from the pink drawer and you are from the green door drawer and you have come in from the yellow drawer and you are obviously from the pink inhabitants. Yes, yes, you are stuck. Um, the one thing about the bed sheets is you do get a lot of the, the extra string. So I'll just put you over there. Pink. Um, you'll probably go with you're a little more caramel colored. Okay, what's that? Oh, that's one of these. Okay, you're already collected, so we'll leave you as is. Oh, we got more of that. More of the bitch. Oh, look at that. More of that. See, you always think you're done and you're not. Yeah, look at that. More of that. Pulling it out. Getting it all organized. Feels good. Feels like things are coming together in the new year. That's what we're telling ourselves, that this is going to be the best year ever. <laughs> I sure hope so. We all need a break, right? Yes. Let's have some fun. Let's get lost in the papers. Let's cast our woes aside and just have a blast. Or at least when we're crafting, let's go so deep. Let's just go so deep that we forget about everything. <laughs> and we'll come up for air every once in a while, and then we'll go back down and we'll craft some more. Yeah, that sounds good. I like that idea. Oh, this is pretty. Yeah, I like that. See, that's a nice piece. I forgot I had that. I have a big thing of this. This thing was giant. It's like yards of it. Okay, this this uh, beady pearl. That's very pretty, isn't it? That's very pretty. Okay, we will do something with you. I used you recently. I know. I recognize you. You're easy to spot because you've got the little pearly cues. Well, you're a long piece, though. Look at you. Let's see. It wiggle its way over here and everything. Where is that? Okay, there we go. There's the end of that one. All right. And now apparently there's a nut. No, this is different. This is different. Hold your horses, Sally. See, you had two Perleos. Did you know that? No, you didn't even know this one existed. You only saw the other one. This guy got entirely drowned out and you're very beautiful and you're very tiny and probably more journal friendly because you're small and thin. And look, here's one of these plastic doodads again. All right, all right, get yourself organized. All right, get in line, get in line with program here. I think I'm gonna put you with the other plastic doodad rosettes over there. So you have a home base. There you go. Okay. More rickrack. Yay. Well, we'll leave you on here. You're not that bad on there. Where's the rickrack? Here it is. Where's the big rack? Oh, there. Oh, and this rickrack. Can we please, whoever's organizing this table, can you please keep all the rickrack together? Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, what else do we have? Uh, oh, you're blue. You're definitely blue. And you know, you got, you got to go over there. And you're pink. Look at still other colors popping out here. Oh, here's another one of those bed sheets. What's that? Okay, let's just some crochet. We'll put you here. You're already organized. Oh, this lice, lo lice, lovely lace. The lovely lice lace. Very pretty. Okay, we'll put you with the Lucy laces. The wide band laces. Okay, we're having categories now. Here's some cream. You're pretty. We'll maybe put you with the creams over there. Okay. We do have some cream invaders here, though. That's okay. I don't mind it. No, it's all right. What are you? Oh, you're still in the package. You know what that means. We'll never use you. So we either open the package and we get rid of the packaging. We bring you into the fold or we put you in the land of never going to use you. And, and that's just not going to happen because we are motivated to use what we have. So you're coming out of that package with you. I don't want, I don't hear any fuss you're coming out. That's right. No wiggling, no wiggling. All right, here we go. Here it comes. Oh, I've got the cover and everything. Oh, I should save that. These, these, I love these old, um, 
vintage things. They're cute for uh, junk journals too. So save that. All right. That's what we need. Another piece of paper, Pam. Right. Okay. I'm going to take you off of here because this just takes up too much room. But this is a nice little piece of cardstock. So, or not cardstock. It's like cardboard. It's pretty thick. So we'll put you there. We'll use you for something. Will we? We don't know, but we have high hopes. Uh, I did actually buy a bunch of chipboard and cardboard when I first started journal making. And um, uh, I haven't bought any since. Um, I bought like a, you know, a, like a ream of it, I guess. And uh, three different thicknesses. And um, I, w I didn't know what I was going to need. Um, I found I wanted to get the really thick chipboard first because I wanted to make covers with it. But then I found it was so hard to cut. Um, I thought, oh, maybe let me get some thinner ones and I can cut them easier and then I can just glue them together. And uh, so I did that for a while. And uh, uh, so there's like a lot of different things you learn as you go and you learn what you need and what you don't need. But you try everything on for size. And if, you, if you've never tried it and you don't know, try it, you know, because uh, everything you're going to learn a little bit of something from everything you do as you're making your journals or you're, you're making your embellishments. You're going to be like, um, always try and, well, I, I like to ask myself, how can I remove a step, an unnecessary step that um, I'm not getting any value out of and it's slowing me down or it's taking away my joy or there's a part of the process I don't like. What can I do to make that particular part either more enjoyable or um, uh, easier, something like that? And that to me brings me more joy when I'm making things, when I can see things come together and they come together nicely and easily. And it's not a fight or a fuss. It's just smooth and flowy and things go well. And, and I can spend my time focusing on creating as opposed to um, making sure I, the glue stick sticks or making sure the uh, page edges are not coming apart, um, you know, things like that. So that is what's going to be meaningful going forward for me looking for ways where i can um, put my energy and efforts it so that the process is always enjoyable yeah and that's that's important you got to have fun um and i love to create I, it's it's one of my great passions it's fun i could just play with stuff i mean I almost have more fun when I only have a few things to play with as opposed to like a thousand pieces of uh, trim. If I only had three, then I would be, I would probably be more creative because I'd say, okay, how am I going to use just these three pieces? So maybe I'm going to roll that idea into <clears throat> the Facebook uh, weekly and monthly challenges coming up, giving you fewer things to pick from, but you got to get creative with them to spark the creative juices. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because let's face it, you know, um, that's that's where the fun lives. So we got to have more of that. Okay. All right. Put that over there. I think I had some of that already. Huh. Well, we'll find it if we do. I love this pretty, pretty eyelet trim. Isn't that pretty? Oh, that just it harkens back to the old Holly Hobby days. You know, um, I was never a big Holly Hobby person, but it 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 does harken back to a time. I don't know. Was it seventies? Maybe seventies, sixties? Probably seventies. I would think. Yeah. Holly Hobby lunch boxes, of which I did not have. I had the Scooby-Doo lunch box, I just would like to say, because I was more like the, you know, Scooby-Doo and the, the Shaggy and the mystery machine and stuff like that. And I liked, I liked, um, you know, mysteries and things like that growing up. So that was fun. And, uh, but yeah, the lunch box was the thing. Do they even have lunch boxes anymore? I mean, are they lunch bags? I mean, maybe they're not those hard metal things anymore. Remember dragging those back and forth in the cold? Yep, I do. Um, <clears throat> or do they just buy their lunch at school? Maybe nobody even brings lunch anymore. I don't know. Um, but, uh, oh, that lunchbox back in my day, that was a source of, you, you, you were your lunchbox. I mean, oh, I had a Dr. Zeus lunchbox. Yes, I did. I remember that one. And I had, um, probably had a Barbie lunchbox at some point. Um, Barbie was very popular during my day and, uh, what else? But it was a new lunchbox every year because the old one r always rusted. Remember that when everything rusted, um, <laughs> you know, we lived in the land of rust. Um, you know, I remember my lunchbox, um, oh, the thermos, you remember the thermos in the lunchbox? Um, and they were made of glass inside and sometimes it would break and shatter and you'd open up your lunch, getting ready to have your lunch and just be like milk all over the place or, and you'd shake your thermos and you hear crunch, 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 crunch. And you're like, oh God, 
Yeah, back to the water fountain today. That's all we're getting today. Hey, you want to give me some of your chocolate milk? No? Okay, fine. Back to the water fountain. Yep, that's the way it would go. <laughs> and it would always be so cold. Oh gosh, going to school. And my school wasn't that far, but it was probably like maybe four blocks and uh, uh, like a suburbia. And uh, But when the winter in Canada, four blocks could be brutal, especially on a little kid. And... Uh, um, if, if there was snow, you had to trudge through the snow and it was, here I go with my uphills in the snow, both ways story, but it was hard. <laughs> um, but uh, you know, I'm obviously there are a lot of kids who walk miles and miles and stuff, but they, they instituted the bus busing program. And then a lot of kids were bused in. So kids didn't have to walk so far to get to school. There were the bus the bus kids, I guess the bus students or something they were called, or we called them the bus students. Are you a bus student or you, you, you just live locally? But um, so I always thought the bus students were so cool because they came from elsewhere and elsewhere was always, you know, mysterious and magical. And I always wondered what else was out there that I didn't know about. Um, but the bus students knew because, yeah, they came from there. And uh, so I did have a friend who was a bus student and she lived way out in the country, way out in the middle of nowhere. And um, it was actually wine country in Canada, I believe it. Yep. And um, uh, she used to have to walk about a mile and a half, two miles just to get to the bus stop before she could even get on the bus. And uh, she had a really cool, uh, back then it was almost mandatory. She had a rabbit coat and um, she, cause it was so cold where she was walking and you know, they didn't have a lot of the uh, materials that we have today that are like down, you know, feather jackets and things like that. So to stay warm, sometimes you had to, you had to wear some, some fur and um, uh, oh boy, the kids teased her because she would come to school in a rabbit coat, a full length rabbit coat, but she had to because it was so cold. I didn't blame her one bit. I thought it was wise at the time. And the rest of us were all freezing in our leather coats because leather coats were very popular. And there is nothing warm about a leather coat. It is just cold and it gets colder the longer you wear it. It just, your, your body heat just goes through it and it just heats the universe outside of yourself, but not you, definitely not you. <laughs> and uh, they were all like long and sleek and slim. So you couldn't really wear a thousand sweaters under the leather coat to stay warm. Um, but then one day they invented something called the bomber jacket. I'm sure it was invented before I came along, but then these wintry bomber jackets were warm, but they only kept you warm from the waist up because they didn't cover your tuchus and, uh, our tuchus froze. So we were still cold, uh, but our uppers were warm. Yeah. So that was okay. Uh, and they didn't have those hot hand warmers or anything like that. And, um, okay. I have a confession and this is very embarrassing, but it's true that um, we live in Florida, but sometimes it gets cold in the winter and um, we're such uh, wusses that uh, we have a box of those hot hand warmers. You know, those things that have the charcoal inside or iron or whatever it is, flakings, and you shake them and they get hot. And I found the kind that have the 18 hour hot. <laughs> they really do stay hot for that long. And um, sometimes in the morning, if it's really cold, like it was 30 or something this week, a couple times, um, we've, we've used them. Yes. In Florida. I know, I know, I know. And, uh, um, I just want to remind you, I did grow up in Canada, so I do, I do know real cold and, uh, but I've softened in my, my old age. And I think my blood is thinner or something. You just get used to it. The cold, the cold goes right through you down here after a few years. Um, but <clears throat> See, this is another example of those things, uh, those applique things I thought I could cut apart, like buy a string of it and it's um, a better deal. And then you can just cut the individual butterflies off. Those are pretty. I forgot I had those. I love those. Um, and I had that in heart form as well. <clears throat> oh, a cute little string thing. No, I'll have to put you elsewhere. I don't know where you go. Pearls. Hmm. Didn't know I had you. What's this? Oh, a string of leaves. So you can even cut these individual leaves apart and use those as uh, little embellishments and things to decorate your journals. How fun would that be? Who has more fun than us, right? That's right. Oh, more bed sheet. Okay. Bed sheet, bed sheet alert, bed sheet alert. Oh, more crocheted white macrame, apparently. I thought this was going out of style and I had to have it all. No. Okay. 
And we're starting to see the bottom of the drawer. Yay. Okay, we have individual little appliques and more of the hearts. Where on earth did I just put the hearts? I don't know. They're gone. All right, we'll just put a new pile over there. We'll figure it out. Uh, and these little individual appliques, I got to gather these. Oh, I loved this trim. I had, I had a lot of it. Now it's just this last little piece. I love it. I love that little piece. I will cherish you and I'll put you in some very important place. Oh, that's a pretty white bow. I'll do something with you. And what are you? You're all about something here. Long and stringy. Oh, it's kind of like this. This could be cut and or used as a page trim or a, a top of a page trim. That would be really pretty. <clears throat> oh, it just makes me want to run off and make journals. That's right. That's right. Okay, let's see. Now we have a lot of uh, appliques here. What is this mess we have to deal with? There's, you know what it is? There's this eyelash trim. <clears throat> I had a big spool of white eyelash trim and I think I used most of it up in spine dangles and things, but I have a little piece left. So I'll put you over there. Oh, guess what? You have a brother. Yeah, you do. There you go. Little piece and oh, and apparently cousins. Yeah, cousins too. Okay. All right. Come along. Is that everybody? Do we miss anybody? No, I think that's all of you. Well, we're getting close, folks. We're getting close. A little more lace through. Um, all right. Well, you're just an individual, unique one. We'll put you over here. Oh, you're pretty. Look at you. This is very dainty, very old. This is something like vintage Victorian or something. Oh, and I may have coffee dyed it. Oh, it's so pretty. I love that. Oh, just looks like something off of garters or an old wedding dress or something. Just beautiful. It's just different. It's different. You can feel it in the feel of the way they made it. Like this is different and this is different compared to this. You know what I mean? It's just different. Yeah, you can just feel the old quality in the old stuff. Just love it. Okay, so what now we need to deal with this. What is this? That's another little piece of that. Where'd the other one go? Here it is. Good. Phew, found it. Okay, so back to the appliques. Now what's this? Let's just remove all these long stringies. Okay, we have some white ribbon. Okay, let's collect our white ribbons. I usually save these if these, they come off of packages of some sort. There's often like a little white sash and apparently there were a lot and I grabbed them all in the universe and I will put them together in a nice little pile. Okay, and here is some more. Okay, there, we got rid of that weird hairball. Let's just get rid of you completely. Okay, off you go into the garbage. Always good to keep garbage close. Oh, this is pretty, isn't that pretty? That's really pretty. You could you could cut those out individually, or again use them as trims and things. Oh, so pretty, 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 pretty. All right, put you there. Oh, that's that's pretty too. But I have love that. Get rid of that. <laughs> okay. Um, well, that's a nice little piece of white canvasy stuff. Oh, here's more of this. Let's put you with your brethren. Where's that here? Okay, that's pretty. We will save you. Oh, here's these appliques again. I got to do something with them. Collect them, Pam. Collect them. Okay. There's doily things. You go over there. Oh, here's a little piece of that. Where'd that go? There you are. Okay. Now let me cut all these little appliques and I got to figure out a way. Here's some pretty little white hearts. They're little plastic white hearts. I'll put you over with the plastic stuff over there. Okay. Um, I want to put all the appliques together so I know what appliques I have. Yes. That is the goal. Okay. Well, not quite sure what you are. Figure out later. Get rid of this stuff that doesn't belong in here so I can see what I'm doing. Oh, there's a word. Bed sheet. Are we still recording? Yep. Okay. Everybody's still in place. Good. Are you still here? Are you still here? Have you made it this far? Have you hanging out? Thanks for hanging out. Gosh, that's really awesome. Um, we're just having fun. We're just goofing around. We're just making the cleaning part of the crafting going a little faster. Maybe I need to put these in. I don't want to do a plastic bag, but oh, a water bottle. I got a water bottle. Is there a water bottle? Nope. I got to get one. All right. I'll be right back. Hold on. And I've gotten a water bottle. I'm going to make a quick little cup. Don't want it to be too shallow. There. Did I make a hole? Not sure. Oh, I think I need to. Oh, we got some water. Got some water in the water bottle. Imagine that. Okay, there's a fresh water bottle. Okay, okay, here we go. And we turn the bottle and then we have a cup. Okay, that's how fastest way I can make a cup. I hope these all fit. 
Let's see. If I can keep them together, at least I'll know what I have. <clears throat> and they're easy grab and go. The only downside is they slide, like as you open your drawer, if there's not a lot in the drawer, they'll do that. So you could stick it down. The only problem is if you want to take the whole cup with you, you got to unstick it and then you kind of lose your stick over time. So, um, you know, I'm sure there's a million one fancier ways to do all this, but this is my method as of today. Okay, now I'm going to empty out my thing. See, it's officially empty. Yay! Yay, progress is being made. Now for the fun part, putting it back together. Um... I'm getting a baby wipe. I'm gonna clean this out. So we start fresh, no dust. Um, you know, fabrics and materials and laces and trims, they all give you a lot of dust over time. So you wanna wipe it out pretty good or wash it out or you know, do something to get all that so you don't inhale it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's do one more for good measure just to make sure we're squeaky clean. Get your corners. Don't forget to get your corners. All right. And we are good. Tucking you back in. I hope you guys are having a good day. I hope good things are happening for you and fortune finds you and, and good health, most importantly, and um, playfulness and, and things like that. Let's put our tool in first. What do you say? Tool, um, you know what? I'm going to put the tool right along this way. Like I'm going to put one in the front and the one in the back so I use up my tool and I remember I have it. Okay, so... Now I think I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put all my fancy stuff and then I'm gonna put my crocheted trim. No, I should put the crocheted trims at the front. I use those a lot. Okay, all right, let's use, okay, we'll put this here because I, I like to use that a lot. Let's put that there. And then let's come in with the crocheted trims. All right, we're coming in with the crocheted trims. This is how we do it. We're gonna snuggle them all together. Okay, I think you guys are pretty much the same. Put you all in here. It'll be a little bit different. That's okay though. Um, you guys better fit. That's all I can say. Or I'm gonna have to default to drawer number two. And but you're all going to be exposed. Nobody is going to hide under anybody else. There's gonna be none of that nonsense this year. That's right. Okay, you can go here. You're good. Oh, you're you're kind of good. You can go there. You're a collection. Anybody else? Crocheted trims? Here, here we go. Yeah, you can go in there. That's all right. Oh, yep, step forward. Don't be shy. With little pieces over here. Oh, you look like somebody else. Yep, there you go. You look like this guy. We're going to put you there. This guy, you, got, you look like him. All right, let's just looking, checking, checking, looking, looking with the fingers. That's <laughs> why my husband always says, stop looking with your fingers. <laughs> I'm very tactile, <laughs> what can I say? Um, okay, I'm gonna put the, these are pretty, the, the pearlies. There's another pearly somewhere, where would it go? I don't know, it'll pop up. Is it popping? Nope, not yet. All right, we'll find it. All right, let's put these plastic guys here because I, I think I will use these if I remember I have them. So now I, I'm remembering I have them. And the big fat chunker laces, yeah. Oh, and this like mother load of fancy foo-foo. Yeah, We've got 17 rows of you. Oh, we, we, we didn't put these in here. We need to put these in here. And I do like these guys. I want them to be upfront and personal. Yeah. Okay, let's rearrange you a little bit. There we go. There we go. Okay, nobody's on top of anybody else. Right? Right? And if I get enough of you in here, you will snuggle each other in so nobody moves. That's the goal. Okay, there's some lacy floosies. And, oh, there's the other pearl you. Now let's put you by you, so you're close. All right, so now let's put, let's put these like collection of cutoff things. Whoop, somebody fell. I have to go retrieve that. Um, 